Hi, I'm Katarina Freeman. Welcome to another edition of Healthy Living. Our guest today is a physicist, and you may wonder what physics has to do with health. But as we learn more and more about the nature of reality and the nature of our world, the nature of our bodies, the nature of light, the nature of reality. It impacts us on so many levels and our physicist today is co-founder of a physics lab called Halidium Labs and uh, he is a quantum physicist. His partner is a nuclear physicist but we are going to find out about what quantum physics has to do with our world today. Welcome Thunder. Thank you. Thank you <laughs> Yay. So, how did you get interested in this? Um, good question. Uh, out of need, actually. You know, mm -hmm. our skies are polluted. Our bodies are full of toxicity. Um, out of need. It's the mother of all necessity. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, it is. So you and Jim Stewart have founded this Holidium Labs. Yes. And um, what kinds of projects do you take on there? Uh, my partner is Dr. Jim Stewart. He's a PhD nuclear physicist from Yale. Uh, he's co-founder of uh, Earth Day LA. Mm -hmm. um, and he's a true environmentalist like myself. I mm -hmm. really am foremost a environmentalist. And uh, we saw the need for global warming, for problems with pollution. And uh, after 10 years of research and developing uh, quantum mechanics frequencies that are reducing pollution, uh, me and Jim uh, founded Holidium Labs. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been about a year. The projects that we look at, um, we've had two um, tests done in independent labs to validate our, our uh, technology, and we set world records. Mm -hmm. So that's exciting stuff. Uh, we reduced more pollution out of a diesel um, vehicle than has ever done in the last 32 years of, of testing. Wow. Uh, and we do that with uh, a simple little small um, sticker. It looks like uh -huh. a like a nicotine patch almost. Ah. Yeah. And it's just placed on the bottom of mm -hmm. the gas tank and the pollution is wow. gone. It's a hologram, right? It's a holographic, yeah. We yeah. use holographic energy. Uh, two thirds of what is taught in, in quantum mechanics today in major universities and, and colleges mm -hmm. are on what I um, discovered about a decade ago. Mm -hmm. So yeah. yeah. So we've had a lot of um, you know development in, in the time in the last 10 years to really mm -hmm. fine-tune this into yeah. some neat stuff and we're going into the uh, human body next you know. yeah that's great yeah it seems that the old models of physics the Cartesian Newtonian mechanical models where mm -hmm. we look at everything as a machine mm -hmm. and everything that has parts that you can just make smaller and smaller and in doing that, actually, that led to the discovery of quantum physics. Sure. Because of things that didn't fit that right. model. Yeah. I mean, Einstein had it, his theory of relatively is, quantum mechanics didn't really fit in there. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And he challenged it. Uh, I concur with uh, the great minds of, like, Michio Kaku, mm -hmm. that we do not live in a universe. This is yeah. not a 1D world. Yeah. We live in a multiverse. Mm -hmm. And uh, I concur with about 91 dimensions. <laughs> 91 yeah. dimensions? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Uh, we've been busy looking at it through a lot of different things. Yeah, we've been looking at it through two, uh, two and three dimensions. And if there's 91, that Five, 500 <laughs> years ago, I mean, Columbus came back and then told us all that the world was round. Right. Now, that's kind of hard to believe. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> it's round? Get out of here. Yeah. No, really, it's, scientists proved it. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's round. And everybody got on page with it. Uh, we're kind of in the same area. We do things that people are like, no way, that's impossible. Really? Mm -hmm. Science proved it. Oh, okay. So I yeah. think to me, I mean, mankind being told that the world is round is a much bigger, harder to believe than I can take pollution away from your car. Right. That, that sounds right. harder to believe, I think, 500 years ago than Yeah, 500 today. years ago, yeah. Now we just so accept it and we've seen oh, okay. so many pictures of really? the Earth just, from space. I could just turn the TV <laughs> and I don't have to get up? Oh, okay. Yeah. So, I mean, we're, we're, we're adapting very yeah. well as, as mankind is moving technology in with mm -hmm. it. And we integrate quite nicely, mm -hmm. very nicely. Yeah, yeah. 
So um, you spoke at our uh, last health fair. Yes. And um, you gave some of us some of those little stickers. And one of my friends and I put it on her son's car. He had to have his car smog. And, um, you know, we drove it around first to get, you know, because you have to get all that Clean stuff out of the engine before it's tested. And so they tested it. It did pass. Yeah. And then we put the sticker on <laughs> and we drove it around a little more uh -huh. and then came back. And some of two of the levels had gone down one, you know, because you're looking at parts per million. So right. it's, you know. But still, one of them went down like 50 points, sure. just in that little 10 minutes. The other one went down about 10 points. I was going to bring the paperwork with me, but I didn't get it in <laughs> time. So, uh, but so that's interesting. So then you also said that if you put it, you have to change your gas or have two fill-ups, right? Uh, after a couple of tanks couple of, of tanks. gas and run yeah. through the engine, we, yeah. we, we ask you to uh, change your oil. Change the oil, too. And you've yeah. had a, a body detox. Yeah. Okay. Think yeah. of this. This is a car detox. Car detox, yeah. yeah. And yeah. it just simply cleans out all of the nasty stuff that's stuck yeah. inside your engine. Yeah, so we're going to do that. We're going to, after two tanks of gas, we're going to have them change the oil, and then we're going to test it again, <laughs> doing our own field work. <laughs> awesome. Anyway, but it did come down, and the uh, guy who tested it said that if one of those two uh, measurements had been a problem, mm -hmm that it could have taken it down enough to pass, but, you know, it just depends on where the, you know, where the pollution was. And this is so, red. Oh, yeah. Reduced emissions device. Yeah. Uh, we named it appropriately. And yeah. It does what it says. Mm -hmm. That was the actual um, model that we tested mm -hmm. uh, right at the California EPA Environmental Engineering Lab. Yeah. You know, here in Santa Ana. Mm -hmm. And uh, blew a world record. Wow. I mean, they've never seen anything reduce more than two points mm -hmm. in 30 years. Wow. Now, this wasn't your, your mom and pop smog sniffer. This mm -hmm. was at a, this was a, a $12,000 uh, 12, test. So it was yeah. uh, done seriously. And uh, we, we crushed uh, emissions 38% our first try. Wow, that's yeah. really good because cars are one of the biggest pollutants on this planet. Of course. Really. Of course. Yeah. And the holographic multiverse, as you see, um, in the 80s, uh -huh. we heard of a book called The Holographic Universe, universe. Yeah, I have by it. Michael yeah. Talbert. Yeah. Right. I feel that that's only part yeah. of, of the big picture, and, and we've taken it you know, to a, a multi-dimensional uh -huh. state. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. These, um, this is our Digimeds hospital, and uh -huh. the way this works is, uh, you see, it's got, it's a lot like a building. It's uh -huh. got uh, glass, and it's, uh, but ours isn't. Ours sits right on a table. <laughs> it, it, it's a little cheaper to build than a normal yeah. hospital. And what we do here is we take a tincture of your hair sample or mm -hmm. your DNA swab, mm -hmm. and we, um, we replicate that cell in water and create a, you would think of uh, almost a tiny clone. But we're not letting it go to mature, so we're not cloning <laughs> humans here. Um, sperm, for instance, is a small mini me of your cells. Okay, okay. so we're taking hair, uh, we're taking water, and we're and we're replicating your DNA pattern, per se. Hmm. Then we go into our uh, Digimed hospital, and what we're doing is we are um, broadcasting and analyzing uh, certain frequencies to the body to determine what mm -hmm. is wrong. And then we can build adaptogens that tell the neurons of the brain how to behave. And then we know for sure that we have something that's going to work first before we put it into your body. Isn't that great? Wow. There's no misdiagnosing. There's no uh, misprescribing. Mm -hmm. and there's no really thought for the doctor to make a mistake. We mm -hmm. take the human error out of the equation once the computer matches yeah. what we have. Wow. Then we safely send you a, ready for this, a text <laughs> message right to your phone wow. and when your uh, image comes in you yeah. take your telephone because yeah. it is now carrying the specific vibrational code frequency mm -hmm. you hold next to water for 30 seconds mm -hmm. and drink the um, frequency is then entered into the water mm -hmm. okay, and stored on the water mm -hmm. and when you drink it takes out what we don't want in wow Isn't that awesome water in water out 
How does it do that? It, it attracts it in your body? The water goes yeah, it, through Yeah, what your, we found in, in quantum yeah. mechanics is that information tells matter how to behave. Yeah. So That's uh, basically what yeah. that that's Higgs boson particle is, right? It's okay, yeah, we're looking for the observer. The God particle, yeah. The God particle. tells the body or tells everything how to behave. How to behave. Right? Okay, yeah. so this is wood. Okay, yes. or a table. You're wood, you're solid. Um, we cannot see through you, your matter, okay, and you do not conduct electricity. Those are the properties of, of, of wood, mm -hmm. okay. Now when we look at metal, mm -hmm. metal is solid, mm -hmm. it conducts electricity, we cannot see through it. Mm -hmm. um, glass, we can see through it, it doesn't conduct electricity, and it's a solid. So we all have different properties. Mm -hmm. So if we can take the essence of one, say, yeah metal, mm -hmm. and we capture that vibrational state, we can then transduce it into a holographic state, place the hologram on the wood, and within 30 seconds now, it starts to vibrate like metal. It's still chemically wood, mm -hmm. but now it's monatomic state, it's vibrating mm. and takes on the properties of metal. <laughs> Is it getting confused about who it is, its identity. <laughs> yeah, it has an identity, identity crisis, yeah. yeah, what am I? Um, and so now the properties start to take over. Mm -hmm. So now the wood can conduct electricity as if it was metal. Oh my God. And now when we do this in our pollution, mm -hmm. because we're looking to take out 78 trace toxins. You know when we smog our car, we look for five things? Yeah. There's 74 other things that scientists aren't, the world is not even aware. Wow. Also comes out of your car. So we took a look at each one of those, yeah. each one of those elements, and we neutralized them using a frequency. Mm. So that when your end result, you got, you, didn't you like the smell coming out of that car? Yeah, there was no smell, it disappeared. Yeah. We smelled it before. Steam. Everybody's car did Everyone. that. We did five Everybody's of them that Everybody's car, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and yeah, then it disappeared. Stuff. Yeah, it was fun, really fun. This is, uh, this is an amazing science. Thank you. <laughs> it really is, and, and it's the nature. It's you're just using the nature of reality, really. This well, we study what? nature very well. Mm -hmm. Nature is a great thing. Nature will tell you all the answers to all your questions. Mm -hmm. Somehow, some way, God figured out the way. Right, huh. right. I drink coconut juice or 